I'll be showing six new features in OneNote. And my longtime OneNote brothers and sisters, there's a very special one today. I've even put on my OneNote cape. After many long years, we are finally adding merge table cells. Woo! We're also adding a bunch of other great longtime customer requests like the ability to paste text really easily with a shortcut, some mobile improvements, and other updates. So let's get started. The first new feature is merge table cells. I used to work on the OneNote team many years ago, and this has been a top request for such a long time. So glad to say that it is finally here. So I'm going to paste a table right here into OneNote. Now you can go insert and add a table just like this, but I'm just gonna paste one that I already have. Okay, here is the Office class. All my favorite Office characters, their scores and grades. But at the top here, I wanna merge this into a nice centered row. So I'm gonna select these three cells, go to the table menu and you're gonna see merge cells. So if I click this, it merges that into one cell. Now if I wanna go and center that, super easy to do, now it's centered. If I wanna go back and split cells, I go here to the table, let's undo that. I'll just choose split cells and it puts it back to the way it was. So just one more example, I'm gonna go right here in the middle of the table, add a little row here, OMG, I can't believe that we've got table cell merging. I'm gonna select these here, merge the cells. Now it's merged. We'll go here, make this nice and red and big, and then center it. Ah, oh, that is so beautiful. You can merge multiple rows like this, so I can even do things where I have multiple rows and columns merge those together. Look at that, beautiful. As of September 2025, this is rolling out to all Microsoft Insiders, should be broadly globally available very soon. The second new feature is also a long time request and that is pasting without formatting with a shortcut. So I'm gonna select a bunch of content here. We've got the OMG in red, we've got the bold, we've got the black shaded cells. I'll do Control C and click here and I will do Control Shift V and that pastes without any formatting. On the Mac, it's Command Shift V, but it's just a really nice time-saving shortcut to paste any content without formatting, just like you can in Word and Excel and PowerPoint. This is also broadly rolling out to insiders right now and should be globally available shortly. The third new feature is the search box right here in the upper right. That has now been moved onto the actual page and shrunk down just to the magnifying glass. If I click here, it opens it up and now I can search on the page. Let's search for OMG. It finds it right there. And when I click away, it shrinks so it doesn't take up valuable real estate. Control F will open it the same way. The fourth new feature is another long time request and that is fixing the margins when you create a page on an iOS device or an Android device. What happened in the past, you can see here, when I created a new page on my iPhone or Android, when it synced into OneNote desktop, it kept it really tight here on the left. We wanted it to look just like any new page being created with more space here. Now I'm here on my iPhone and you're gonna see I'm gonna create a new page with the title and then add a note to it in text. Now I'm gonna go back to the desktop. Here is that page on desktop. It's synced right from my phone and it has a nice breathable margin right there on the left-hand side. Right now, this only works for new pages that are created on your mobile device, but in the near future, we're gonna be able to fix up old pages that have been created that have that wacky margin in it. The fifth new feature applies to people who have the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. Now by default, if you have the Copilot license, we're gonna show your Copilot icon right here on the Home tab, and you can open up chat or do other things with Copilot. For example, if I click anywhere in OneNote, you're gonna see this little Copilot icon, and I can go here and take notes with Copilot, summarize page, task list, and rewrite. And I won't be doing a deep dive in this video. I'll be having a separate video coming up in the future where I deep dive into Copilot for OneNote. But the other default things that you get are these Copilot notebooks. So here are my regular notebooks right here. You also get these Copilot notebooks right here. And I've got a research project. I've also got TPS reports. And these are the Copilot notebooks pulled right into OneNote. Now the new feature here is I'm gonna go to the file menu and I will go to options and I'll choose this new Copilot tab here. If I don't wanna show the Copilot notebooks list, I can uncheck that. Or if I don't wanna show the Copilot icon in the OneNote pages, I can uncheck that. Now I'll click OK and I'll just have to restart my OneNote. We'll do that really quick. OK, OneNote has been rebooted. Note on the left, I no longer have that expandable Copilot notebooks. And then when I click on a OneNote page, you no longer see that little Copilot icon that hovers right next to my cursor. So those have been disabled. 
If you want to re-enable, go back to File Options in the Copilot tab, click those two checkboxes, reboot, and it'll be back to how it was. The sixth new feature is for educators specifically. We've added the Class Notebook toolbar that is built into the OneNote desktop. Just like it is in OneNote Mac, you can now just enable via a checkbox. If I go to the File menu and choose Options, on the General tab here, I'm going to go down and choose Enable Class Notebook. When I choose this, you're going to see the class notebook toolbar appears right there. And now if I'm using a class notebook, I can do things like distribute a page, new section, and all the other options that you've had in the class notebook. This toolbar is now built into the OneNote for Windows. You no longer have to download that add-in if you're using OneNote for M365 on Windows. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.